and start blocking and jacking everything up, let's talk about what happened. You can see these brakes are absolutely shot, right? Brakes over here are pretty good. Brakes back there are good. Brakes back there are good. So just this one shot. All right, well, previous owner, you know, did zero or no maintenance on his S cams and greasing his brakes. And uh, this here was probably most likely stuck, you know, up, uh, applying some brake and just wore it down. Or that was the only one working and the rest of them weren't, one or the other. <sighs> so the importance of greasing your S cams uh, is just, I can't preach it enough. Um, another thing. If you have a situation where you have a brake locking up like that and you're getting hot, you don't want to have a fire, you know, 9 16ths or 7 16ths uh, is going to do pretty much all your brakes. Back that sucker off. Back it off all the way and get down the road till you can get it fixed. Um, so we have to back this brake off here. So we'll do that real quick. Uh. Okay, now you can see I've got enough room to get that drum out of there. Alrighty, folks, let's move this back just a little bit. Here we go. All right. So that's why that's so handy because then you got all your fluid in there. That fluid is terrible looking. But like I said, I think we're doing it. Uh, let me get this little pin straightened out. Uh, probably got the wrong part of that. Cutter pin. Get that out of here now. We'll see what we do with that in a minute. So, get my pen. Alright, so you get that axle nut off. have no idea if that was put on properly or not we'll just make sure that we do we do a good job when we go back on there all right your axle nut the washer and now i'm gonna have to uh Reposition the camera to show you how we get we get this done here. You can see the entire tandem is loose now. Okay, so we have jacked it up just enough here to where it's not touching the ground. And that will allow us to slide our tray underneath there and get our tandems out which uh, we'll show you here in a minute folks hopefully this goes as planned which it should you'll see here in a second why I saved that oil just throw your old Oh. 
bearings coming out now. So without getting that grease all over you, the bearing. Feels like we're grabbing on something. Feels like we're grabbing. You can see why these are a chore. done. Here. I'm going to come down on that jack just a little bit. Getting my work out. And we're going to use that grease to slide, hopefully, these tandems out on. There. There we go. Okay, folks. That was a little bit of a chore. Now, it pays to have a good set of picks. Slide that back bearing off there. All right, and then here's going to be our seal that we have to replace. So we're going to want to take that off and clean it up, make sure we get the right one. And then it's just a matter of uh, damn brake springs off. Mm. Oh, probably didn't get that on camera. But they just pop right out. Here. Boom. Get the inside one there. Help those springs out. that all righty and then look at what sh kind of shape that s cam is in this is terrible no grease so we'll be working on that here too okay and the seal just pops right off Okay, you can see it fits right into, that's got to come off. This is pressed on, I'll knock that off. Um, but that seal is the only thing that's keeping the fluid in. So, uh, got to get this off, got to get this back piece off. And uh, we'll go try to find our parts. Alrighty, folks, here you have it. We're going to go... Try to get parts now we're gonna get uh shoes because they didn't know that what they want to see the old ones so shoes new axle seal and uh we could put this thing back together that's probably going to be in part two because i'm going to spend some time going through the s cams to make sure everything's working properly Alrighty, folks that's it uh for part one um we got a lot of parts to get uh, we got to go through the S cams, um, get everything working properly, make sure we don't have to replace the pillow bearings and everything in there. Um, it's not too bad. It's not terrible. Um, everybody makes a big deal out about inboards. Um, it is kind of a pain because of everything you have to go through to get the tandems off. But like I said, if you do it this way, they just slide right off of there. Um, and of course, you got to do your seals uh, on a regular uh on a regular newer set of uh, outboards, you don't have to do all that with the wheel seal and all that. You just take everything off. So, 
Alrighty, folks. Uh, if you get any value out of this, I'd appreciate the thumbs up and the comments. Take care. Stay safe. We'll see you.